In this video, I show you how to extract audio from a video on your iPhone without any software. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And let's go and jump straight into this guide. Here we are on my iPhone and let's get right into this extracting audio guide. So the first thing you need to do is go and close off the Photos app. Then what we need to do is actually go and look for the Shortcuts app. As you can see, mine is in the top left of my second page. If you're struggling to find it, you can go and search your phone for it by dragging down on your phone or alternatively, you can swipe across to your app library. Now, if you think you've deleted it, simply go and open up the app store and go and tap on search in the bottom right. And then we can just go and search for shortcuts like so. And you can actually go and re-download the shortcut app. It's super easy. And then we can go and open it up. Then what you need to do is go to the shortcuts page by tapping on shortcuts in the bottom left like so. Now we need to go and create a new shortcut because we can actually go and sort of create like um, an extraction shortcut for this. It's really cool. So what you need to do is tap on the plus button in the top right. And then what we need to do is go and name this shortcut. So I'm just going to go and name this extract or something like that. So tap on the name and then tap on rename. I'll type in extract just like so. Um, and then you can go and press done. Now the next thing you need to do is go to the bottom of the shortcuts app and go and press on the I button, the information button like this and wait for it to load. And now what you want to do is make sure details is selected and you tap on show in share sheet like that. Then you go and press done in the top right. Then what you need to do is where it says receive any is go and tap on any input just like so where it says any. And what you want to do is just press clear and where it says media, then just go and enable media. If you can't see the clear button, just manually unswitch them. There aren't that many to do and then go and press done. Now, what you need to do is go and tap on add action, just like so. And you need to go and type in encode and then it should appear as encode media and you need to go and tap on that option there. Then what you need to do is go and expand this section. So tap on the arrow, which is currently facing right, like so, and it's gonna go and give you some more options. And what you need to do is enable audio only like so, and it's telling you the format, that's fine. Um, and then you want to go and click on search for apps and actions again. Then go and type in save, and then we can go and tap on save file, just like so, um, and that's it. And then what you can do is go and expand this option as well. And personally, I like to go and um, enable ask where to save, because essentially then uh, when we go and start the extraction process, uh, we're gonna be asked we want to go and save the audio file. Then that's literally everything. What you want to do is go and press done, like so, and now it's saved. Now what we need to do is go back to the Photos app, just like so, and we need to go and choose which video we want to go and extract the audio from. So in this case, we'll do it for this one here, which is 12 seconds long on the left, like so. So now what you want to do is go to the bottom left and go and tap on the share button. And then what we need to do is go and tap on the shortcut we just created. In my case, I named it extract, so go and tap on it. Then it's going to go and say preparing like this. And after this is finished preparing, we're going to go and get a pop-up with our files, which looks something like this. So what I'm gonna do is go and press on browse like so, and we can go and choose where you want to go and save uh, the audio file to. So in this case, I'm just put it on my iPhone and then I'm gonna go and press open just like that and that's it. Then we go and get this tick here and this means that it's now finished. So we can now go and close off of the photos just like this and then we can go and open up our files app which should be on the second page once again or you can go and search for it. So here we go and then make sure you click on browse and then you can go and find where you went and saved the file. So in my case it was on my iPhone. I can look in here. Then you can go and find the audio. As you can see this is my one here in the middle IMG 2067. As you can see that was 236 now 237. I can open it up by tapping it and then play it back just like so um, and you can go and share it or pressing on the share button in the bottom left and you can go and share it with whoever you'd like and that's literally it guys if you found this useful please go down below and consider leaving a like peace